Okay, so here we are. I have just built my RC2014 CPM mini upgrade kit. Um, we've connected it up to Putty on the PC and we're going to give it a boot. So I turn it on. It's configured to boot into the small computer monitor. I've got a few commands we can do here to um, dump memory and um, poke things and so on. But what we're going to do is run CPM. The uh, system has a 128 megabyte compact flash card. This has been divided into 16 um, partitions. They all appear as a drive letter. You can think of them as, as sort of virtual floppy disks. Um, and they are eight megabytes each. On the A drive, which is our default, we don't have a huge amount. Most of the CPM utilities live on the C drive, including the stat command, which will tell us that you know, basically our, our eight megabyte disks are mostly empty because there's very little on here. And over on the B drive, I have transferred over Turbo Pascal. And so you, you, incidentally, you download programs using the download tool. If I run download, spell correctly, and then for example, I wanted to download test.dat. When I, if I was to press enter, the program would expect um, a user number, which is sort of the CPM equivalent of a directory. So I would say u naught and press enter. And then it expects the file to be presented um, as bytes in hex, followed by um, a checksum. So that means that you could uh, you could close the serial terminal and then run a file transfer utility to, to paste in the file um, as ASCII characters with all the bytes encoded as hex. Um, and yeah, get the file onto your system that way. So that's that's what I've done to get Turbo Pascal on here. Uh, Turbo Pascal has been configured to understand the key sequences generated by my particular terminal setup. Um, there's one particular issue where home and end don't work Turbo Pascal only handles four byte sequences and on my system home and end generate five byte sequences but I can run Turbo Pascal and say yes and I've you know when I go to the editor my arrow, arrow keys and so on work so we're going to select um, a sample file I've been uh, working on so here we go so here is um, a program it is not Buzz, let's call it something else. Let's call it numbers. There we go. So I've got one integer i. Let's just tab that over as. Ah, seems to be tabbing it over in line with the word var, whereas this block has been tabbed over in line with the word begin. Um, but yeah, anyway, I can I can move around and uh, and so on. And if I want to escape then it is uh, get out of here it's control Q and that drops me back to the to the menu I press H anytime I want some help I can save the file I'm working on I can compile it that's compiled it into memory so it, there was no disk access then and I can run it and then if I want it to come out onto disk I can say no I would like to generate a com file please and now if I press compile my test.paz program has now been compiled as test.com, which uh, I, and then I can say, yeah, I'd like to run that, please. And so that's loaded test.com into memory, executed it, and then we're back in, in Turbo Pascal. So that's kind of nice. So we didn't have to leave the Turbo Pascal shell to run the program we just compiled. Um, but if we do want to leave the Turbo Pascal shell, we can press Q to quit. And back at the CPM console processor. And then there's my test program. So that's it, that's Turbo Pascal on the RC2014 Mini using the CPM upgrade kit.